Julio. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Amira. This is Monica to Soul Healing. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. And for the energy exchange, it's appreciated. Okay, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. It's a general reading for Leo, your weekly reflection. All right, so we'll reflect on this past week for you, what you experienced and what you were meant to learn through it all. All right, let's see, Leo. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. All right, you can book a personal reading on my website if you're interested in that, go check it out. Um, yeah, huh. All right, Leo. Um, Leo, I'm, I, I was getting that you're, you're seeing, you're seeing the beauty in something, okay? There, I feel like there's something new that you have your hands in or, I don't know, there's something to do with your hands, okay? So, so something that you're creating, yeah. Okay, something that you're creating or working to create. Maybe some of you have not fully started to um, dibble and dabble and actually change something. I feel like you're literally changing something with your hands, okay? You are the magician, you are the creator, you are the king of wands. I feel like you're determined to make something how you see it <laughs> oh wow it's like clay right um other people just see it as a blob but you can literally see what this thing can become and so you're like i'm gonna make it uh, i'm gonna i'm gonna make this thing exactly how i visualize it there are there's no there's no uh devi um deviating from that path deviating it feels like the wrong word. All right, but you guys get my drift, okay? I'm just trying to explain the feeling and the intuitive messages, <laughs> okay? All right, show me Leo, please. But there's something really significant. And as as I was doing your pre-shuffle, I, I was like, what is going on with Venus right now? Because I feel like Venus is, a, is um, influencing a lot of the signs thus far. All right, heavily... All right, so, so I don't know what, what Venus has going on um, or in what, you know, what sign it's in right now, but um, yeah. All right, you have frost, ice cold melting in time, a frozen glance at what lies behind, what lies ahead, what lies within, and the chilling frost of thy undead. Okay, frost, so seeing between the lines reading between the lines seeing beneath something okay above something seeing seeing ahead of of what something will be what something once was like you're seeing through you're seeing something differently bottom of the deck you have forest it is without question a place of mystery whispers of power you've forgotten let thy strength crawl from beneath the ground and remind you dear child you are magic Yes, Leo. Yes, you're creating something. It's beautiful. Not to say that whatever that thing was prior to was not beautiful, but you see it differently. Okay? You 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 are creating something. You're being very creative. I feel like like you're molding something into um, you know, something that is unique uniquely going to represent you or whatever. All right, let's see. Yeah, there it is. Okay, the Queen of Wands. So this feminine, um, you know, fire energy of somebody who is a master manifest. Look at how many arms and hands she has. Like she has her hands in a lot of things. The Queen of Wands is super busy. Someone who's very attractive. The life of the party. All right, an, an entrepreneur, a businesswoman. This is a, a feminine energy of somebody who is very attractive, but also very creative. All right, the Queen of Wands is a go-getter just as much as the King, but but there's something like about beauty, about attractiveness, about like, you know, like the inside. And that is the Queen energy. The Queens are about what's going on internally. And maybe this is just you that I am seeing that you're molding, that you're creating into this beautiful being that you did not see as beautiful before. Interesting. What's your Venus placement? Okay. What's, what, what, what sign is Venus in in your chart? What house? That's really significant. All right, and you have Hermit, yeah. 
All right, so some kind of internal awareness here, something that you're searching for. The Hermit is a card of introspection. Okay, this is somebody who is taking a time out to see something clearly, like this Frost card says, and the forest even. Okay, taking a time out, seeking seeking um, assistance or clarity here with the Hermit. All right, this Virgo energy, what's going to work? What what routine? How can I make everything come together for me? Especially with the Queen of Wands, like if you have a lot going on right now, um, this Virgo energy, this sixth house energy, okay, can, can be used to your advantage. What, what's going to be best for me right now? What's the healthiest um, routine? What's the healthiest thing that I can do um, for my future? Like, what do I want? You know, the Hermit is searching for the star, searching for my miracles, you know, uh, wanting, wanting my wishes to come true, but needing to define what they are. All right, so that's where somebody was. Five of Wands reverse. Five of Wands reverse is um, somebody who no longer is playing games, okay? Um, not wanting to be a part of the competition or maybe the competition is over, all right? But I feel like this is enlightenment. You know, the Five of Wands in this deck in particular does speak about creativity. It speaks about needing to be creative in the midst of all that tension, in the midst of that adversity, in the midst of that confusion, in the midst of that self-doubt, that um, self-deception of other people's opinions and, and um, you know, other people's visions, right? In the midst of all of that, figure, figuring out how can I... Um, be successful through all of this. And I feel like that's really where somebody was this past week. Okay. And then nine of wands. Nine of wands is a card of perseverance. It's someone who's on the verge of giving up on something. Okay. But needing to find um, their inner strength, as your cards say. All right. It says... Let thy strength crawl from beneath the ground and remind you, dear child, you are magic. Okay, so that literally is like the theme of your week here. Bottom of the deck, seven of discs reverse. Yeah, so this Taurian energy, uh, and, and, and here's the Empress, all right? Again, more Taurian energy and, the, and Venusian energy. But it's like someone who is working on something, I feel, and, and maybe it's not growing as quick, quickly as you'd like it to. There's some kind of perceived dead end here, all right? All right, let's see what your lesson was here, Leo. Ice cold, melting in time, a frozen glance at what lies behind, what lies ahead, what lies within, and the chilling frost of thy undead. All right, what was their lesson, please? Thank you. Yeah, three of Wands. Again, your creativity, your highest potential, moving from the Three of Wands to the Four of Wands. So patience, planning, preparation. Who do I need? What do I need to get me to this place of success? All right, where I'm at, the Four of Wands. But this is someone who's going on a journey. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. So planning, preparing. All right, not necessarily, not, necess not necessarily sharing everything with everybody. You have to pick the right people to be in your corner, to be in your court. All right, but the three of wands to the four of wands was your lesson. So not wasting time, right? Moving appropriately in the right direction. Okay, um, but reaching your highest potential. Yeah, on the journey. Yeah, two of coins and the hermit, right? So making practical decisions, like I said, what do I what what's going to be best for me moving forward? What's going to be healthy for me moving forward? Where what where, where do I want to be? What kind of attention do I want to gain? All right, this kind of thing was really important for you. All right, I'm gonna leave it there, Leo. Like, share, and subscribe. Okay, see you next week.